Boys, here's one tip in Madden 24 Ultimate Team that I feel like most people aren't thinking about or talking about. Now, Soul Soul Sif family, and welcome back to another Madden 24 video. In this one, we're going to be going over a decision that you probably made three months ago in Madden and haven't thought about since. Now, real quick, first two people to comment on this video are getting a $10 Xbox or PlayStation gift card of your choice. So if you're early, drop a comment. And of course, if you want more giveaways in tomorrow's video, scroll down and drop a like. And of course, if you're not yet subscribed with those notifications turned on, you might want to change that because that's how you win free coins and free cash. All right, now without further ado, boys, let's talk about what we're going to be going over in this video, which is actually team captains. And you might be thinking, Swift, why are you talking about team captains? Well, the reason why I want to go over these in today's video is because for a lot of people watching this, you probably kind of just made a decision about which team captain you thought was best three months ago when Madden 24 dropped. And of course, Madden's changed since then. The meta's changed since then. How many team captain tokens you can get changed since then. And there's even been new cards that have released. So let's quickly review the stats of the these players at their highest overall, then we'll talk about the best strategy to spend these tokens, because right now what you can do is you can actually max out two of these players. You can actually get two of these to a 93. Now, the options for which team captain player you're going to spend the tokens on are Kevin Mawai, Frank Gore, Jordan Reed, as well as on defense, Channing Crowder, Eric Berry, and Rondé Barber. Okay, now let's take a look at the stats of these players at their full 93 overall version. We don't want to look at the stats of these cards when they're 80 overalls. No, I don't really care what the 80 overall stats of Jordan Reed are. I want to see what he looks like at a 93. So I I can decide, okay, do I want this 93 on my team or do I maybe want Shannon Crowder or Eric Berry? Now for Jordan Reed right here, the man's got 92 speed, 91 acceleration. That's a little bit slow. If he had 93 speed, this would definitely be a card to consider. At 92, it's good. It's not amazing. Otherwise, really balanced. As you can see, 90 plus for route running, 90 plus for catching, 90 plus for release, 90 plus for spec catch, 90 plus for agility. I mean, EA Sports just said, give this man a 90 to a 93 on every single stat and call it a day. And that's not the worst thing in the world, right? This is a solid card, 90 change in direction as well. A pretty good tight end. Then next up, we got 93 overall Channing Crowder. This is an interesting player. I feel like when this card dropped, this card was low key kind of meta. People were using him and he was pretty decent, but he hasn't really progressed with the times. As you can see, 91 speed, a little bit of a slow poke, a little bit of a turtle running around the field. So not ideal. And then otherwise, change in directions in 85. Not really that amazing if you want to use this guy as a user. In terms of block shed, he's got 88. In terms of zone coverage, he's got 91. So that's not bad right there, but otherwise, not a huge, huge fan of this card. Then moving on, we got Rondé Barber, who's definitely an interesting player right here. Rondé Barber, 93 speed, 91 acceleration, 92 man, and 93 zone. Like 90 pluses on the zone coverage and the man coverage. Awesome. Speed is very nice at a 93. This card's decent. The only thing is, is this man is 5'11". So as you guys can see on the screen right here, a photo of me and Xerxes, this is what Rondé Barber is going to look like next to Calvin Johnson, which is not ideal if he lines up across from him. But depending on how much you value height on your players in Madden 24, that's kind of going to be the decision factor on Rondé Barber. I will say this is a card that I would consider more than I did like a month ago because the stats are undeniably really good. Then moving on, we got probably one of the most popular team captain players right here, Eric Berry, or as we call him on the channel, Erect Berry at 92 speed, 92 acceleration, 88 change of direction, 92 zone coverage, and 90 man coverage. This card's kind of just like a chess piece. You can kind of use him in any role in your defense. He's not going to be amazing at anything, but he's actually pretty solid to be honest with you. I use him as a sub linebacker. I'll explain why in just a second because we can actually get a plus one speed boost on the card, making him 93 speed, which is definitely solid for an in-the-box defender. But I feel like as a defender who I'm not using as, Eric Berry underratedly plays solid and makes plays for me. He's not amazing in the run game, but as a defender in zone coverage, he's actually played good. Then next up, we got Frank Gore. Frank Gore, running back card, 91 speed. That's all I even need to say. I'm not even going to look past that. Just too slow for a skill position player. We can't have it. And before we get too far along with this video, on the screen right here is a Zion. Williamson special I got yesterday over on Underdog Fantasy, who is the sponsor of my channel and the sponsor of this video. Now, as you can see, Zion's line was set to 0.5 points. He easily got one point. If we have a couple other successful NFL picks, we're winning 60 bucks. Now, if you want access to more free NBA picks and free NFL picks over on Underdog Fantasy, where we can get a 0.5 yards line for football or a 0.5 points line for NBA, Underdog Fantasy is doing specials all the way up until Sunday today. I'm going to be using them all with NFL, but they're free, so don't miss out. And if you want to check out underdog i will leave it linked down below in the description click that link to download the app and then use the promo code swift swift as you're about to sign up that gets you access to those specials and it supports my channel a ton to buy modern 24 coins for the cheapest price on the internet check out mmoexp by clicking the link in the description and use promo code swift at checkout for five percent off and then finally there's kevin mawai i'm not even that concerned with the stats on this card i'll quickly breeze through them but most of them are 91 plus 92 plus for a lot of these which is awesome 
awesome. So overall, this card is very, very good. And he's in a position where I don't want to spend coins. So now that you guys know the stats of these players when they're a 93, which are the ones that you guys should be using? In my opinion, there's only a few options. Number one, I think Kevin Mawai should really be used for most people watching this video. Now, reason being is because you probably don't want to spend coins on a center. So with this Kevin Mawai card right here, you can boost him up to a 93 by getting your team captain missions done in this game. And then the player is going to be one of the best centers in this game and you don't got to spend coins on him. You can basically just leave this card as a center on your team for the entirety of the year. That's easy. That's awesome. Then moving on, I would say Frank Gore is not an option to consider. I would say Jordan Reed isn't really an option to consider either. I wouldn't say Channing Crowder is that amazing. I would say your other two options are Eric Berry or Rondé Barber. And this is kind of going to be up to you as to where you see as more of a need on your defense. If you need a corner badly, I would get Rondé Barber. If you need a safety more badly, I would go with Eric Berry. And if you guys are watching this video and you're wondering, how do I change my tokens around? Let me show you. So say, for example, I had Eric Berry right now. I would go to the upgrades tab. I would click refund right here. I could refund these tokens and remove them from the player and then put them into Rondé Barber. So you can kind of flip between these cards pretty quickly. If, say, for example, you needed another defensive back or you needed another corner, my mistake, you could take them off Barry and put them on Rondé. And if you wanted to switch it back, you can do that as well. But realistically, I think Kevin Y should probably be used for everyone. No excuse. I would use that guy as a 93. And then otherwise, it's kind of Eric Barry or Rondé Barber for me. I don't love Channing Crowder. I don't love Frank Gore. Jordan Reed, just not really a player I would suggest either. But if I had to do a top three, I would say Mawai, Eric Barry, Rondé Barber. That would kind of be my top three in order. I would suggest you're using at least two of those three players at a 93 overall. And one other tip that I definitely want to give you is even if you're not using a card, so say for example with Channing Crowder, I'm not actually using this player in my lineup in terms of his 93 overall version, but I still have him in as a backup linebacker. Reason being is because as you guys can see right here, when we take a look at some of my boosts in my lineup, if you put in all six team captain players, you're going to get plus one speed, plus one excel, plus one play rec, plus two awareness, and plus one COD on every single team captain. So for Eric Berry right here, he's getting plus one speed, plus one acceleration, making him a much better card. For Rondé Barber, he would get plus one speed and excel as well, bringing him up to 94 speed. So even if you're not using one of these team captain players, still put them in your lineup as a backup, like third running back, third tight end, fourth linebacker. Just be sure you have these guys in your lineup. And before we go, one other tip as well. If you guys have any playoff players in your lineup, those upgradable playoff cards, they're now upgradable. So Aline McNeil right here, the player that I suggested you guys get is looking very, very solid. We're going to put plus two training into him, bringing him up to a 92 overall. He's not bad. 87 speed right here, 93 block shed, 88 power move. Am I even really using this card on my field? Not really, but as a 93 overall backup DT that I only had to spend four training points on to upgrade, I'll take it. So yeah, boys, that's going to do it for me. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. And until next time, check out Underdog Fantasy. Use code SWIFT and I'm out. Love y'all, boys. Peace.